Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial and today we're just going to I'm going to be showing how to uh, stream music uh, on your phone if you've got a NAS or a network attached storage so let's get into it so for this illustration or for this demonstration I'm going to be using a, a network attached storage and VLC uh, on Android for this demonstration but uh, let me get into what is a network attached storage so a network attached storage is a storage that is well as I said it's self-explanatory a storage attached to your network so that means that uh, if you've got authentication into the network attached storage you can access it from any devices I've done tutorials how to do it from phone to phone uh, from to using a NAS for two laptops but for this tutorial I'm just going to be um, demonstrating it how to do it off a phone with no um, music or videos on it so what I know why would you do this you know um, what, what are some of the reasons um, there could be a few reasons uh, it, like with a NAS network attached storage you can also um, if you've got guests assigned I could actually ask someone to use their phone for music and rather than um, Tamping around and modifying their music on their phone, I could just ask if I can download VLC. Uh, there's other applications that does it, but VLC does it. Um, we're, we're using this for this example. If I download VLC, I can actually um, log into the NAS server as a guest, uh, which this one is. So we can actually um, run through like this is actually a guest. And what you can do is you can actually set favorites to folders where you've got music stored or video stored. Um, if you've got a playlist of songs, um, you can also do it with um, playlists of songs as well. But um, yeah, so uh, with network attached storage, for an example, um, we'll just use this laptop hard drive for an example, because but I've got it set up. So if you've got your music on something like this, we'll just say this laptop hard drive for, for this um, analogy, uh, just for visual purposes. Uh, if you've got a USB one of these, you might want to plug these to your modem if it's got a USB port on it. And then if you set it up, this hard drive here will become a network attached storage rather than if this was in a laptop, it'll be called a local storage, local attached storage or less. Because, you know, just like every, um, every laptop, it's got a local hard drive. So let's get into it. Uh, yeah. So if we open up VLC... So um, here, I'm just in a folder with, uh, with, with some home beats. So this is actually on a network location. So I can I can browse my network location, and we're going to just be using these beats for an example. So I'll play one. I can play these because these are home beats. So play one of my home beats for an example. So this is playing off the phone, but. Um, it's the location where this is stored. As I said, it's on the network or it's on another storage location. Uh, there's a few ways you can set up a network attached storage. You can set your computer to act as one. Or, as I said, if you've got modem with two USB ports on it, which mine has two, um, you can set that as a network attached storage. And I'm actually logged into this as a guest. So um, even if I had the... I, uh, if, if I try to delete any of these tracks as a guest, they won't let me. So yeah, I'm just going through my tracks, just the thing. So yeah, this is what you call how you use network attached storage to uh, to browse media. You could also do it for anything really, pictures, uh, videos, documents. You know, I've got all sorts on the network attached storage. So. But this is just more uh, targeting how to get your um, files onto uh, your phone, even if it's temporary, um, to use your phone as a renderer. So yeah, um, this is more targeted to, because this has got a low uh, capacity storage, this phone, so um, I can still listen to all my, all my favorite songs and all my favorite playlists that I've made in folders without having to actually download it on the phone itself. Um, if I do choose to download songs on devices, I can copy everything off the, uh, copy things off the network. But since I'm at home all day, every day, and, and I, don't, I hardly go out personally, um, this is a perfect solution for me. So 
uh, and as I said I can also borrow other people's phones do the same thing and I don't have to worry about modifying their stuff and you know even if people have access to my NAS I've got personally nothing to hide and the only time it can be accessed is from my um, when you're on my local Wi-Fi um, I've purposely set it up so you can't access it from the internet because if you want to do things like that you, there are cloud services out there that can do things like that I don't want to turn my thing into a cloud service or else just yeah you know it's only a personal cloud for my for me and my own use only so pretty much uh, that's just me demonstrating how to get um, music um, from a network attached storage to your phone without actually downloading it um, it works for videos too so um, just to before I go just to demonstrate a video I'll just um, sorry I'm just a little bit away from the Wi-Fi modem so the loading time will be just slightly slower just being away and also uh, these a few a couple uh, about a wall or two a wall or two that's actually um, between this device and the Wi-Fi so um, just bear with it do 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 so now and if we go here so um, it also works for videos so if we go to scratch 2 so this is just me scratching so yeah so it also works with uh, videos as well and this video is not on the phone so yeah I just thought I would demonstrate um, me showing how to get music and videos on your phone without having it uh, without having any of these files on your phone but also have um, been able to access it from a network location and also yeah so uh, yeah hopefully you learned something new it's a simple setup as long as you've got the, the NAS server set up uh, each setup is different but I um, usually just show things just to give you an idea of maybe how you might want to set your things up as I said this is a perfect solution for um, also sharing files as well so if you want to share files between all your devices because um, nine times out of ten is uh, the NAS protocol is supported by a majority of operating systems like Linux um, it's also supported by Windows Mac uh, iPhone Android so yeah um, it's a good all around you might as well say when it comes to file storage but until next time everyone have a good day and um yeah hopefully learn something new and until next time ciao, ciao.